So the protege is coming out. Martin Campbell was talking about it. And uh, this is what he had to say about the original ending when it came to... Uh, when it came, yeah, he says terrific ending when it came to uh, the original, you know, the 2011 Green Lantern movie. Let's see. He says right here. All right. So, oops, clicked something. Did not want to click. All right. So Green Lantern director talks his scrapped terrific ending. Martin Campbell says the budget cuts scrapped his Green Lantern ending. So he says right here, the problem was I remember in the last six to eight weeks of pre-production every day, and I mean every day, we had meetings about cutting the budget. We need to cut the budget. How are we going to cut the budget? Every goddamn day. So, yeah. So Warner Brothers, of course, doing what Warner Brothers does all the time, is always worrying about the budget and thinking that whatever that they're making right now, instead of just letting it be, you know, obviously this was, you know, this was what, a couple of few years, you know, this a couple of years, a couple of few years before, Snyder did Man of Steel, but yeah. And then he continued by saying, I had worked out a terrific ending for the movie. I remember I had this quite big, op uh, this quite big office down in New Orleans, the, pro the production offices, and I plastered the walls with storyboards. It was like wallpaper everywhere for the ending of the movie, and they came in and said, we can't afford it. You have to cut it all. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that's got to suck. When you have all this work... And you have it all everywhere, and these these suits come in and go, no, nope, can't, can't afford it, sorry. You know, it's sad, it's sad. So in the end, they came up with the crap ending, that he calls it. I love that he calls it the crap ending. However, having said that, I never should have done it, and but I did it. I don't think I did a good job. So for me, for superhero movies, there are better people than me who ought to be doing those movies. I think you I think you would have done fine, sir. I think you would have done fine if they would have just let you do something good. Uh, the ending of the movie saw Ryan Reynolds, Hal Jordan fight in the big bat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the original parallax in space who eventually falls into the sun and is killed. Campbell explained that his version would have involved instead the on it. To be honest, there was a battle in the streets between the four lanterns between our heroes, Kilowog, Sinestro, and obviously Ryan Reynolds and blah, 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 and blah, blah, taking on a huge kind of monster that was taking over the city and was really the Magnificent Seven in a way, or the Man Magnific Magnificent Four. However, it did not come to pass, so there we are. So he had the other Lanterns coming in, as opposed to just like showing up at the end, right? Didn't, he, the, didn't the other lanterns just kind of show up at the end after he defeated Parallax, but he was like, uh, he was like effed up or something. And they, 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 they made sure to grab him before he fell into the sun or something like that, if I remember correctly. But yeah, so they were going to have a fight in the streets uh, or, you know, fighting a monster that was taking over the city. And uh, yeah, it would have been a nice little like Magnificent style like showdown. Yeah, that, that's something that would have been cool, obviously. But, uh, you know, Warner Brothers. You know, Warner Brothers just being Warner Brothers, you know? They didn't like the black suit! So, yeah, that's sad. Released the Martin Campbell cut, but I don't think they actually shot that. Remember, they were like, that whole that whole shit show was, they were changing stuff with the script right as they were filming. All kinds of things, man, I tell you what. <sighs> Warner Brothers just being Warner Brothers. But, yeah, so that was the original ending right there. And I love the fact that Martin Campbell is being very open about it right now. And he says, you know... The shit, or uh, the, the, what do you say? I forgot. You said something, what do you call it? The bad ending or whatever? Yeah, that's good. Good on him. Good on him for saying that. But yeah, that's all they were worried about was the budget, the budget, the budget, the budget. That's got to be such a pain in the ass. I mean, that's why when people, you know, now, when it comes to Marvel, Marvel can just, they have, they, they have money to burn, obviously. But, you know, back then, it was probably a little bit more difficult, but, you know, it's just, you just worry about, you just worry about Warner Brothers even now, you know, especially after Suicide Squad. It's like, yeah, I mean, it, I don't think it was it wasn't a, a full on flop because you got to think of streaming. But, you know, it wasn't a huge success that they obviously wanted to be. So, yeah, Taka's fault. It's all Taka's fault. That's right. I keep forgetting that Taka Watiti was in there, but he wasn't that annoying. He wasn't free guy annoying. So at least he wasn't that. So, yeah, Taka, I always forget. Yeah, he was like uh, his buddy. And then, and then, of course, 
Blake Lively. And that's where Ryan Reynolds met the mother of his children. Blake Lively, because, my God, that had to be interesting. But, uh, yeah, didn't he also say that uh, they were, like, riding on a train together somewhere? And he, like, begged her to have relations with him? I mean, I'm sure it's a joke, but Jesus Christ. You're Ryan Reynolds, man. He had a bag? Then again, it's Blake Lively. 